I can show you three ways to make sushi without using rice. Maybe you're on a low carb kick or maybe you're just allergic to rice. The first option is good old reliable cauliflower. I will show you how to make it sticky in a minute. To prepare it, first steam the cauliflower, then chop it up really fine, grate it or use a food processor. I know cauliflower rice is also sold in some stores. Next option is just plain cottage cheese. Obviously this won't taste anything like rice, but you will be able to make a good looking high protein sushi roll. Third and final option is konjac rice. Konjac is a plant which can be turned into noodles, rice and other foods. It has practically zero calories and carbs. Check the link down below for more info on konjac. Let's start making sushi. First, I'll do the cauliflower. To it, I'm adding fat-free cream cheese to make it stick together. You don't need much. This cream cheese is only 0.2% fat and only 60 calories for the amount I'm adding. Stir that in until it's evenly distributed. I will do the exact same thing with the konjac rice. And I'm not going to do anything to the cottage cheese as it already kind of stays together. To make sushi, you will need, of course, nori, the outer seaweed part. Grab some nori sheets and place one with the shiny side down. If you don't have a bamboo mat, it's not really necessary. I don't really know how to use it as you will see in a minute. Start layering the cauliflower rice and spread it evenly over the nori. Get it to all the edges except the one furthest from you where you will need to leave an inch uncovered. I'm making vegetarian sushi, so I have a variety of veggies cut up which I'm layering over the cauliflower. Disclaimer, I do not know how to professionally roll sushi. This is just an amateur demonstration at home. If you're interested, I'll link a good channel that will teach you how to make sushi down below. When you roll it up to the end, use a little water to wet the part of the nori that's left to make it stick together. I will just quickly show you how the konjac and the cottage cheese rolls look and then I will cut all three of them. Here's the finished product. All three versions held up really well despite not being actual rice. I was able to cut them easily and there was no problem picking the pieces up with chopsticks. I personally liked the cauliflower version the most. Let me know which one you liked if you tried these recipes. All three of these are very low in calories but the cauliflower and konjac rolls are around only 100 calories each. If you liked the video, subscribe so you don't miss an upload. Thanks for watching.